start to feel like an expert, I want to teach it to everyone to secretly show off. The problem that, is that I've always known. And we did an episode on two, a two part. No, it was a one part episode that got cut, cut in half, uh, where we taught ourselves ZBrush. Michael can link to that in the chat. Uh, that was several months ago. I have since forgotten everything. I, I was going to, I was planning to get caught up uh, this week, and I kept putting it off until yesterday. And then uh, we had some car trouble yesterday, and I ended up having to deal with that all day and did not get around to uh, to relearning how to use ZBrush. So I, I need to be taught how to just how to get started before we go into any of our prompts today, if that's okay. But first, I think, Michael, I think you had something you wanted to show people, right? We wanted to talk about? No, 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 no. We, let's, let's just go right in to, uh, uh, right into today's uh, stuff. I'm excited. All right. So guys, uh, and gals and non-binary pals, absolutely. get ready. I'm sorry, I was talking to you two, but Oh, us guys. Well, I'm not, I don't, I'm not prepared to do anything. Let's, well, let's just tell them the name of our show today, which is, uh, World War Z brush. Uh, today Woo. we will be, basically we'll be going for the, we're doing time challenges in case I honestly don't know if you guys said this already, cause I was uh, finishing getting ready. We are going to split the screen down in half. I'll be on the right. Hashi will be on the left Our with our ZBrush windows open. And Michael is going to prompt us with a reference image and a prompt for what he wants to sculpt. Now I've got timers, three different timers. I've got timers for 20 minutes, timers for 10 minutes and timer for five minutes, which what, what's our plan guys. I think that we start with the 20 minutes because we're going to be getting our C legs, our Z legs, and then uh, uh, Z brush. Yeah. And it's true. It's true. As a Canadian, I should be saying Z brush. So, uh, or I'll, I'll use the one that doesn't say it. That'll be the drop for this. Perfect. All right. Uh, so, Excellent. sorry, what did we say? 20 minutes? We'll start with 20 minutes. And uh, do we want at all to start with a, uh, make sure that we both have uh, ZBrush working and uh, can start <laughs> a new document? Sure, let's do that. So uh, I believe I have ZBrush open here. Uh, I see ZBrush on your screen, Seth. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So let's see what, which one is, is me. The, uh, You're the one on the left, Hashi. I'm on the left. Okay. Oh, I see. I, I was, my uh, little I mean, Skype window your... is cropped. <laughs> I want to see full video feed and pin this. There we go. My, my, oh, my face is in here. I love it. All right. So, so, and there's an empty spot by the way in OBS, but that's where our timer is going to go. So don't judge me. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Don't judge that spacing. Goodness. I hope you all are uh, ready for this <laughs> in viewer one, land because I'm very excited to see what it comes with this. Right, so how do we start? What do we do first? Uh, well, one thing that I always do, which is not great, is that right from the light box, I'll open the uh, like a Dynamesh sphere and start working with it. Now, technically, uh, from a fresh document, I think, so if I went to... Uh, a new document. Yeah, can you break that down, Hosh? Because you know this. There's okay. like, it, what's so, the hierarchy of project file uh, well, world here? What was confusing to me at first <laughs> is that there are three ways, like three places that say save, which is you can over here. There's a document save, right here. There's a file save, and then over here you can load or save tools, and so that was very confusing to me at first. So tools will be basically, uh, it comes with a handful of primitive kind of ones, but eventually the actual mesh that you're working with is stored as a tool over here. If you're just trying to save the geometry and mesh, you can save your tool here. It may exist along with other different tools in a file right here. So if you want to save your file with like a robot head and a robot body and arms and things like that, then you then file is where you want to save your project with all of its tools. Uh, document, I believe, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this very well. I feel like the document is this. This is a new empty document where I can take a tool and then like draw the sphere into it. But right now it's just a, this is all 2D-ish. Hang on, and, can I cut in real quick just for quick oh, please. Second? 
just so you know, <laughs> um, we're also going live on the ZBrush YouTube channel today, too. Oh, good. So, hello, ZBrush people. Uh, How did if that you don't happen? know, um, blame Kyle. Uh, Hashi and Seth, I, I decided me here, do not know ZBrush. They've maybe used it once or twice in their lives. So this is, <laughs> this is your chance to watch people who have not really used the software uh, Use it in a fun way. So you, so you can feel reassured if you don't feel confident in ZBrush. Neither do they. And they're still going to be having fun today. Excellent. Also, just so you know, if you're watching on the Pixelogic stream, usually the bulk of our, uh, of our group chat is happening over on the Red Giant channel, the Maxon Red Giant channel. Yes. So if you want to be in a crowd with more people, lovely. And uh, you're also welcome to just uh, watch right from where you are. Yes, yeah, so we're also streaming on the Maxon Training Team YouTube channel and the Maxon YouTube channel. So we're we're in a, quite a few different channels. Now, oh, and Maxon Red Giants on YouTube Twitch channel. We don't know how we did that. <laughs> Always, uh, yeah. Does the White House have it? Anyway, so yes, this is how to start a new document. Have you have you got up ready to go, Seth? Because I'm ready to drop you the, your no, first. I don't have anything up. So, I just, uh, <laughs> sorry. So, back, so what you have open right there is called the light box right here, yeah. and there's a when you open up the light box again. There's a project tab project. up there. Ah. And from here, you can load up a project that will have some of the standard tools that you would want. Um, so a Dynamesh quick way to jump in think? is you could just like double click on the uh, Dynosphere and then Which one? that actually loads this file in and you've, you're already in edit and Is yours 32 mode. or 128? I did the 128 just because I'm just uh, imagining that higher numbers are better. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Especially when I'm running a stream too. All right. I so the one from so here, do I do? so from here, like, so yeah, uh, put your little cursor on, uh, on top of it and you'll see that, talk dirty uh, there's some, uh, symmetry going on. Yeah. See? But and if you click and drag right, right now, you're on a standard brush, which is basically an additive brush that allows you to add stuff onto it. Yes. Now, what I have found for me working with ZBrush um, is first off to work half way, screen. Just to, yeah, sorry. first of all, yeah, working half screen <laughs> is exciting. It's going to be fun, everyone. I can do um, face here. The, the navigation is slightly different from Cinema 4D. And so on a PC, at least. Michael, is your um, first prompt Ronald McDonald? Because I did it. Um, no, my first prompt is not Ronald McDonald. I am Never I am raring to go, by the way. Now, I will say, starting with a Dynasphere is probably going to be a good choice for several of these prompts, including this first one. Michael, uh, Hashi, I'm sorry I got distracted drawing Ronald McDonald. Tell me what to do. Um, so just so you can practice the feel for a moment, I'm not sure how this translates to Mac, but on a PC, almost everything for the navigation is clicking on the right mouse button, so you can click on the right mouse button at any time and rotate around like this. Or you can hold wow. down control and that'll zoom you in and out from your project. Hang on, are you using mice or are you using Wacom tablet or XMC Labs tablets? Or I have a trackpad, Hashi has a mouse, right? I have a Cintiq that I could also use for this, but I need to order new nibs. I'm not loving the ones. You gotta get new nibs. No! Yes, so go get with nibs. mice and trackpads heavens <laughs> on All half right. screen half screen with mice and trackpads i have this an ipad pro can i use that no that crashes this is the like, screen. not yet um well and also i uh, zbrush is not yet available for the ipad uh, true. widely true now symmetry so Remember to turn this off somewhere so like the like the panning like trucking kind of tool is alt on a pc and the right mouse button so probably on control oh, zooms yeah, yeah, yeah. in and out and then just the mouse button by itself rotates around. And also up here in the top corner, we've got this handy little like cool low poly dude oh, yeah. that as you rotate, you can quickly snap to a specific view. I think that you oh. can also do that by handy. navigating around and holding down shift and it'll just move you at little 90 degree increments too. Okay. So several ways you could do that. Now, Hashi though, how do I save... This, what do I save this Oh, as? good point. So now, so this is our first project. So let's both together go ahead and go to file. Which is right where you think it's going to be. Right where you think it's going to be. toolbar items in. All right, file. So yeah, don't save the document. Save this file. And instead of saving it as 
Dynasphere. I'm going to save it over here in uh, my my folder for today. So I'm going to call this one prompt one because we don't know what this is going to be yet. Yes. Uh, uh, now, Darby, you do not understand. I'm not giving them prompts like this is some sort of AI trash. I am giving them prompts like I'm talking to humans, okay, asking them to make things. That is that's kind sorry. of sorry. And you could be, I mean, yeah, Michael has the real power here. To, uh, <laughs> when does he know? Um, Seth, let me show you one of my other favorite ish tools that I think will be very helpful for getting started. Um, I think that uh, there are some great, I mean, Pixelogic has a ton, ton, ton of content uh, showing how to competently use ZBrush. Um, I really enjoyed a uh, presentation that I was there uh, to see in person uh, by Anna Carolina, who does these amazing um, sculpts and demonstrations of tools and things like that. And so one thing that I learned from her was the uh, tool called the snake hook is one of my favorites. Ooh, what's a snake hook do? So snake hook, once I click on it right here, Why do I, and you should have told me this ahead of the show. I'd have a drop ready. I, I sent, snake I sent hook. this all to you in Slack. <laughs> sent this all to you in Slack. Whoa. Whoa. No, you did not. You sent hang me on. a snake I hook think, okay, so, I think you need so, to turn. So hang on. So look what happened there. You need to turn there. Sculptress Pro or Dynamesh or whatever the heck that it is on exactly. for this tool. So yeah, when you click on it, it's really likely that it'll say this brush best performs when Sculptress Pro mode is activated. So I'm going to say, okay. And Sculptress Pro, we, this took us half an hour to figure out last show, is this button right here. Oh. Or the right uh, leaning, um, or left leaning, whatever you want to call it, uh, slash. Activate Sculptress Pro. So yeah. now, Whoa. what this will do. For, for those of you who um, don't know, sculpt, what Sculptress Pro does is it oh, we doesn't know. just, it, when you're sculpting, it doesn't just pull the polys that are there. It creates more polys as you go. So it gets you detail while you're sculpting instead of just taking the existing detail and smooshing it around a bit. Mm -hmm. Hey, remind me and when then, symmetry can get turned off. I can't freaking. Okay, so symmetry is up here under transform. Transformers. And right now, activate symmetry is likely active ah, for you. Is. Copy, thank you. So you can disable it Ooh. at any point. And That's one awesome. other very quick tip, especially if you're in like sculptress mode or whatever, is if you hold down shift, you'll notice that your brush up here changes to a smooth brush. And there are various ones there, but when I hold down shift, it becomes a smooth brush and I can do this. And you can see that I can like slowly erode away or smooth out the sculpture from there. So you can be adding pieces and then holding down shift to just kind of smooth them back into a more pleasing Keeping shape. in mind, if you have a Zensi, Zensi Labs or any other brand of tablet and uh, have pressure and tilt sensitivity, it can affect all how all these tools work to give you more control. I'm hitting my trackpad so hard, nothing's happening. Okay. Right. Um, press, tapping S or right clicking also brings up your all of the properties of whatever brush you're using. So if you oh, wanted to increase the brush size, it's right there. Look, tapping S does size. Okay, yeah. So tapping S is size, and tapping P right clicking size. will give you um, all of this other stuff, including like the Z intensity, Z intensity. Um, and then Seth, if you are, if are we going to do be doing like bad this, accents with today's show? We We're going to try so hard not to. At least one way every week. What's that? So up here, uh, between your tools and the uh, document window, there's this cool undo history slider. So if I want, I can click on this and just start dragging through Whoa, all of so the things cool. that I did to this sphere. That's what this is? Whoa! And that's it's not so cool. only great as a way to look back at what you did. There are several... Like brushes you can define by comparing history states. So if you're like, I've drawn this little texture on a piece of the material. I want to go like save where it had nothing done to it and save where it had stuff done to it and save that as a texture that I can apply to things. It's very, very cool. Okay. And there are, there are much more competent people to teach you all of that lovely stuff. But, um, um, yeah, th I think this is a, we're at a reasonable place to maybe jump off. I'm going to scroll my undo history back to here and just, uh, look head on at this, uh, at this thing. 
Well, I'm ready to give you your first prompt if you're ready to go. Uh, what do you think? Uh, hold on a second. What did I do here? I put a star randomly in this. And I can't get it to go away. Why is there a star there? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> For another time. No! Texture is off. Okay, let's try this. If I go to clay, it's still there. All right, I'm going to try See, you are still in edit mode, which is good. I thought that somehow you'd, you'd uh, force yourself into... Go to Lightbox and... If only we had someone in the chat who could tell us how to use ZBrush. It's still there uh-huh. on a new document? Oh, no, I'm in, cr- in trouble. Uh, does anyone know why there's a star? Anyone in the chat? How to get rid of it. How does Seth get rid of the star in his little window? <laughs> oh, amazing. It's bothering him. I don't feel like I even have noticed that that was a, th- a, a space. I, w- I wouldn't worry about it. It's not in your, it's not in your actual thing, right? I, I don't know. It makes me uncomfortable. I understand that, but we also have a show to do. You're right. We do. All right. Now, for this first, uh, for this first prompt, I must warn you, uh, this oh, creature's good. got... A vicious streak a mile wide. Hold on. Uh, maybe hold on. if you taunt it, Ooh. you could cause it to make a mistake. Anyway, death awaits you with nasty, big, pointy teeth. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. I gotta be able to I gotta ready to pull up this thing. So oh boy, first yes. off, hang on, make sure I got these right. Let's get this started. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Prompt death wise, awaits you. You'll tell with me. Nasty when big re- pointy teeth. Okay. Yes. It's the rabbit of Carabanog. Oh my goodness. The what? There you go. It's the longest prompt. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, it is not the longest prompt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not the longest this prompt. This moment yes. in there Magic Island has one of my favorite deliveries ever where, yeah, just. Okay, so we got to craft this rabbit. Yes. Craft this rabbit. Now, is it like, uh, we're, it's up to our own, own yes. artistic interpretation of this rabbit, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay, great. So um, here, here, this is an image of the rabbit from the film. But if you feel like interpreting the rabbit with slightly pointier teeth, feel free to go ahead. Excellent. Are going to go full banicula on us? You, you make this. This is the ra- This is the. This is the rabbit of Carbonog. So do what you will to interpret it as your as your prompt for, Real quick, for Michael, this. Are all of your prompts that that long. <laughs> uh, text wise, yeah. No. But most of them have <laughs> something like to them. Horse. Yeah, because none of them are one word. Yeah. They're all something. Yeah, with do some, me, they're do all me a quick favor if effect. you would. Go open that text document real quick and just hit enter before oh, from. G- Jiminy crapness. Okay, hang on. So I can just so just so I can we re-reference it and people want to see it, and know what it is. There. Just is that better? It. Okay, now. Yeah. That's a little better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Are All right. Ready? Uh, so we're already. gonna have a timer, and we and then we're both gonna work off of that. What are we're starting with a twenty minute, and then we'll get increasingly shorter. Sure. If we have, if, do we have twenty minutes left in the show? I feel like we took a while. <laughs> You've got. Up. You're good. Let's go. Okay. We do. All right. Twenty minute timer. Let's go. Twenty. Okay. Oh no! It's symmetry on. back on. on. <laughs> no, you want the symmetry. Symmetry's on. fine. You want the symmetry on. Fine. I want symmetry on. I have it on. Unless you're, I mean, unless you're doing like the pose in, like, I mean, if you're doing a sculpt to be animated, you definitely want the symmetry on for while you're getting the basic shapes of the thing out set out. The only time in, in this case of a creature design you'd want the turn of symmetry off would be when you're putting in the final details at the end to make it look realistic. Uh, when you're first getting the basic shape of a creature uh, done, you, you pretty much want, because most creatures are symmetrical, generally speaking. Uh, Marley, how long does a show normally run? Usually the show goes on for two hours. Uh, and usually it's Hashi and Seth pulling apart Hollywood visual effects and trying to put them back together again. But today, today we are doing a special ZBrush episode where they're sculpting in ZBrush and, and uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a timer. Uh, Mr. J, with the goal Gosh, is for them to You're get. You're so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. J, the goal is for them to get, uh, to, for them to get uh, something designed in ZBrush uh, quickly, matching the prompt. In, in, in this case, we are doing the Rabbit of Carbonog from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oops. For this first prompt, we, I've got 
several more prompts ready to go <laughs> once they finish with this one. Boy. And, and yes, Seth is correct. Hashi is off to a pretty, pretty decent start with the, the, the at least <laughs> recognizably a rabbit on the screen. I keep forgetting the proportions the of the rear are. legs are somewhat off. Oh, so you can use uh, um, to tap through your brushes. You can press B, and then from there you could usually type the first letter of whatever you're looking for. So if you're looking for like the move brush, it's likely. Uh, M, and then it'll bring up all the ones with M. Whoops. And then you'll see uh, which one is move. It's uh, E. So if you type B, M, E, it'll do that. And you can cycle through some of your favorites. Also, that when you click on brushes, the slug going the ones on. that you've yeah. recently used it's will be exactly, right here. It's a slug. That's 100% what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, man. Marley okay. One Love says, hey, they've watched this show, this show a few times after it's been aired. This is their first time showing up live. Hey, Marley, the great thing about showing up live is you get to ask questions and they get to be answered on the stream. I, but yes, nor normally this is a VFX show, but uh, this, this episode, they've it's decided it's all about, it's all about the art. Uh, all right, so that's the snake hole um, lounge. Cool. Let's see. Now, uh, what if I want to? <laughs> Mr. J is asking, are they beginners? Uh, in ZBrush, yes, and that's the fun of this no. particular episode. Is that Ashi and that? Seth have barely touched ZBrush before, and they're the kind of exploring it for the first time today, which is going to be fun. They are both experts at Hollywood level visual effects. Ashi has done work for Disney and DreamWorks, um, and Seth has done a b bunch of work for films, feature and short. Like they're experts in After Effects. And burgeoning, including a itself. like major release directorial debut coming up. So yes, like they're they're not beginners in visual effects, but, <laughs> but they're very oh, much no. beginners in ZBrush. This is the chill part of the show, as Michael Pollack says, not the VFX part. Yes, this episode is very much a chill with a timer <laughs> set on a batch of dynamite. I apparently, some, uh, yeah, it is. I should have made some uh, some music, uh, some like. Oh yeah, we need like oh, some lo fi chill. Music. Yeah. Oh Hashi Hashi, you've got some actual rabbit ears going on where Seth had like How? dual horns from like a this? jackalope. You monster. <laughs> All right. It's like it's virtual clay, baby. Yeah. Seth, you're just redoing this your slug antenna over and over. Yeah, I am. You got a problem with that? Uh bull uh what word am I looking for? Dope Boy is asking, is there a way to solo a subtool while keeping the other subtools wireframe or transparent <laughs> shape visible? Um, I Dope was going to say, is there uh, a way to solo one of these guys and not the other guy? <laughs> Dope Boy, uh, let me explain something to you. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that is a question for a real ZBrush. Okay, wait, what? Artist. So, what was the question again? That was the is there best a way to thing solo? I've ever heard. <laughs> is there a way to solo? Oh, is there a way to solo a subtool while keeping the other subtools wireframe or transparent shapes visible? Oh, well, what we're sort of what we're likely talking about is over here. This is the best to the best of my knowledge. Is there is a subtool menu? Oh, I realize that I'm, I'm a little cut off. I'm going to try to drag that in more. Um, if you click on the subtool, it's sort of like the layers of your composition. So, for example, I have just the rabbit tool now. And if I wanted to, I could click, like, append and add a star to mark Seth. Let me move this star right here. So, I do know that over here, I can click between the different tools. So, if I click on the rabbit, I'm... I'm just editing the rabbit now. Uh, if I click over to one of the tools, and I can see this one, but if I click on it and like use the brush, it's doing nothing. It's trying to just affect the rabbit. So that's sort of what you're saying. The other thing you can do over here is you can solo different things. So if I'm on the rabbit tool, I can just have it visible, or I can make this tool visible with this little eye right here. That's, that's the most help I can be. On that, I'm going to delete this star now. 
which is not undoable. So now I want to start getting into, uh, it's really hard to not, like many of our awesome ZBrush trainers talk about the idea that it's better to try to work uh, low, like uh, with like low poly stuff until you get your actual silhouette worked out. <laughs> uh, That's never going to happen. Okay. So I'm jogging pictures is asking, are there ZBrush templates or do you have to start from scratch every time? Oh, there are some wonderful templates that are available here in the light box. You could start with like uh, a demo like head or a humanoid figure or this dog or any of these other sample projects um, and then a variety of primitives and stuff. And you can bring them all in to serve as the base to get yourself started. What's happening? Why is, why am I getting a, ah, Okay. I, how do I how do I like twist? I want to twist these rabbit ears to where they're like more outward. Twist. Okay. Um, this. Okay. Let me show you. Uh, to twist just the ear. Uh, this was one thing that Gosh, I didn't know about. One of those athletes that like stops before getting to the finish line and turns and helps the the fallen player <laughs> up and walks them to the finish line. Continue. Sorry, bud. So over here in this list right here, there is a section called deformation. Yes, there is. It is in alphabetical order, thankfully. What's kind of fun is that this has, like, watch. You can bend. Look at this. I can Whoa. bend my wrap into itself. Look, that's some, like, uh, three-body problem stuff right there. And um, so cool. you can skew. Uh -huh. And then there's also a twist. But you likely don't want to, like, the twist whole your model. whole yeah. Perfect, rabbit, right? right? I did it. You did it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, so, so, so over here, uh, when you're next to your rabbit... Uh, you can paint just the ears by holding down the control button and then painting just the ears, okay? Okay. So now that oh. I've painted them, that means that they are frozen and it will only affect everything else. But if I go out to the side here and hold down Alt, no, I keep holding, holding down Control and I click in the blank space, it'll flip the mask to either be just the ears or just the body. Okay. So if I make it so it's just the ears, then I could go to the my twist and the twist thing is just affecting that. And I think that, the, yeah, now, now I'm out of my depth, but I think that That's technically there are, oh man, there's a way to use one of the, one of these uh, like transpose kind of brushes allows you to define the, like set, sort of set an anchor point around which you're rotating it. I don't know more no. than that. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. The way to get rid of your mask yeah. uh, the most quickly is to press control and do like a drag, like a rectangle over uh, in a blank I've been area doing that by accident. Yep. I think that's how, uh, that's how that gets discovered. Why does my brush, this window keep disappearing? Like I'll open, I'll hit the brush window, go to find something and it'll go away. That, I don't know. That's okay. I'm sure th so many things are customizable in ZBrush. That there's got to be a good way to uh, actually... Uh, ten minutes left, oh. gentlemen. Ten minutes left. Okay. Now, uh, Perry Taylor says that ZBrush, I'm sh they're sure that it has benefits, but to a beginner, it's a very daunting program to tackle. Yes, that's why we have some lovely tutorials for Z getting started in ZBrush over on Cineversity. If you go to maxon.net, uh, there's a whole learning section there, and you can get started with ZBrush. I believe Anna Carolina has got a nice series going on. She's an amazing ZBrush artist and an amazing trainer. She does a great job at explaining how things are working in the program. So I would highly recommend that. Truly amazing stuff. I kind of want to leave this as my potato rabbit. I feel like I I, I, I think feel like it's, it's more listen, threatening you, somehow. You've got you've got ten minutes left. I think you, your ears are good for for your current spot. You need to start starting working on the rest, and you think you've got a good go. Oh, thanks, Mike. Uh, okay, there must be a better way to do what I'm trying to do.
and uh, Seth, I, do, I agree with you that music might might be might be a good choice uh, at some point yeah, in the future. I only have... Don't worry about it now, but in like eight minutes when you're done with this sculpt, <laughs> while I'm chatting about the next pro- have, <laughs> the next one. All I have is the pre-show music. I can just slow uh, down. Yeah, that's not, we can't have that over and over again. That would be too much. I'll, I'll just... Uh... We, we can sing our own music. Here we go. Don't know what I'm. So don't know where I'm headed now. This is a track that I made because uh, I uploaded these tracks to Spotify and Apple Music, and then was told, "No, uh, they don't. They're not long enough. We don't want them." Well, technically, they said like they're not long enough. We don't want them. And uh, what? And so I had to make one track that was really long to make the average track length better. Actually, I'm not oh, the, that. the average track—that's oh, too much. Too much to think about. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to find some some royalty-free music I can play. Oh, I have our music. For, um... Oh my gosh! Oh, where's the timer? Seven-ish minutes. I'll play oh some, man, of gosh. My, some of my siblings' music, Bex Worley. We'll go to the 1980 synth pack, which you can listen to on Spotify. And I'll Ooh, love it. hit play. Nick Smith says that they are just imagining the Wii lobby music on loop. Oh, that would be pretty good. Marley One Love asks, is Maxon making any tools for audio editing? No. Maxon makes some great tools for color grading, some amazing add-ons for editing, a bunch of tools for motion graphics and After Effects, and, uh, of course, the Cinema 4D uh, for 3D motion graphics, and uh, some visual effects stuff, a lot of good visual effects tools as well uh, for After Effects. But, uh, no, for audio editing, there's there's, there's nothing. Sorry. This music is so... Like... I feel so inspired to make this rabbit now. Speaking of which, like if you want to feel inspired and are working in ZBrush, you can log into ZBrush Central, which it has a really cool feature that you can just kind of press play and it'll just show you a feed of really awesome work by like good artists. And it's pretty cool. So, uh, for example, uh, Look at this. You can you can just pull up this feed. Hey, I recognize that human. That's Paul Gabriel. Hey, the hey, link. Look at this. The link is in the play chat. And if then, you don't know how to type in ZBrush Central. Then just like put on the your speed controller or whatever, and it'll show you some amazing, amazing, really good inspirational work being done by people uh, who have achieved a level of skill that you don't need to be intimidated by. Instead, you could know that it's uh, it's achievable eventually with just like. You know, and 20 years of experience. And, uh... <laughs> Frigby, I see your comment, and it's very funny. Uh, you don't know why it's funny, but I have I have something prepared that will make, that, that will, uh, yeah. This is how she's prepared for a, a future prompt, so I'm going to say about that. How do I... Oh, boy. How do I uh, cut into, like, trim into this? Like, and trim is not doing what I want. If I want oh, to, like, cut um, eyes into this Any thing. tool, you can hold down alt and it'll do the opposite of what it's used to doing. Ah, Um, But for like carving and like cutting into something to make shapes, I would recommend the Damien Standard brush. Oh, naturally. That's what I should have typed in. (laughs) Damien Standard. Damien Standard. Jesus. Okay, there we go. Hosh, anytime you need to see the prompt again, I can pull it up. I forgot I put smoke behind it. So with this music, this is just... We now got the moodiest episode going. Tatoon is, uh, is asking do you recommend any challenges to participate with ZBrush and Cinema uh, there are so many out there um, a very popular one with Cinema 4D is just doing daily challenges like just challenge yourself to make a piece of art every day with it and you can use that as a way to build your skills so if there's a particular area you want to build your skills in like making materials or playing with cloners or MoGraph tools or whatnot. You can start start off your da- your daily work with working with that particular tool. 
for the same thing with the case of ZBrush. Just find some sort of uh, thing that you want to be learning about and base all your learning, like base your daily art on that particular tool. Uh, of course, ZBrush uh, community is a very vibrant one. And there are, uh, I, I'm sh I, I know there's several different places that are doing ZBrush challenges every week that you can jump into. Um, Michael Powlack, by the way, Seth, to your thing, says the yellow orange star behind your thumbnail, right click in the thumb, it's a texture. What? Right click in your thumbnail, it's yeah. a texture. You can take that off. There you go. Incredible. Thank you, Michael Pollack. Thank for you. Everything. <laughs> but especially this one thing. Uh, gentlemen, you have two and a half minutes left in your sculpt. Uh, <laughs> your sculpt of the. It's slowly turning into a frog. Is what, what keeps happening. Slowly turning into a frog. I've got a. Okay. Yeah, Hashi, your rabbit has become slightly frog like. Um, Any Wedblack says, with this music, they feel like they're watching an episode of Stranger Things while literally watching you both make <laughs> some strange the strangest things. of things. Well, this was a. It was totally intentional. This music pack was created to capitalize off the success of Stranger Things back in 2016 or 17. This is my sibling, Bex Whirly, made this stock music pack, and you can now just listen to it if you want. The way we came up with this was I... I produced it. It was like, Bex hey, you got anything that could capitalize on the success of uh, <laughs> I, Stranger I took, Things? Yeah, I took a, uh, uh, a bunch of... I found a bunch of 80s movie posters for movies that neither Bex nor I had seen. And I wrote, I made up plots like a log line based on what it looked like the movie was about, based on the poster. And then Bex wrote themes to those movies. And that's what these, love, all these tracks. Love that. That's amazing. Thanks. It was fun. Okay. Um, you one. have one minute and five seconds left. Don't need it. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> oh man, that, that music is is great for the uh, for the calming factor of all this. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Perfect feet. Incredible, Seth. You did it. These don't look like feet at all. Uh, but Fabi Chill out there certainly thinks that you're making a great bat. Fifteen seconds. Justin Luduk is enjoying the frobbit that is happening over on the Hashi side. Oh, here we go. Five. Where'd we land? Uh, well, we have Hashi's we have a little before certainly. and after sitch going on. Hashi certainly <laughs> looks like death awaiting you with nasty big pointy teeth. And so, yeah, as Justin Leduc, Justin Leduc says, Seth just spent the last fifteen minutes trying to not make a potato. <laughs> and can I tell you? I and and very nearly succeeded, everyone. <laughs> yeah, very nearly. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm proud of this. I, I love it myself. Hashi, it's, yours it's, is it's, incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's in that perfect valley where it's like better than nothing, but <laughs> not good enough to be anything. <laughs> the Seth, the so, Hashi and Seth story. The Hashi and Seth. Ooh, look at th this texture. Uh, just because of the polys actually gives it <laughs> this scaly... Hey, save your, save your scales for a potential future prompt. Oh, boy. There's been several hints of future prompts coming in from the chat and from you. Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm okay. liking this. You, both of you have very different takes on the idea of a <laughs> on rabbit. Idea of, on the idea of good. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to go up here and say file save. Which I did. Um, oh, one interesting thing to note is you can choose whether it is saving the undo history along with your project. If it's a very serious project, you should definitely keep your undo history, but it will make your file size bigger because it's li like literally the whole thing. 
I don't need so to. You can, that whole idea just still is fantastic to me. Yeah. I love that. So you can turn it off. You can leave it, whatever. But, uh, oh, yeah, look, we can do our time lapses, Seth. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I undo, undid this part at the end. Man, like I was headed toward like a, a reasonable like jackalope thing, and then I decided to go all frog. Now, Perry Taylor says that uh, Seth forgot the teeth, but if you recall from the prompt, uh, no. there is not much teeth visible. Sorry, uh, yeah, I was not going no. by memory. I was going based on the picture. And, it, I mean, it barely has teeth in the film. It's just, They're just spoken about by Tim the Enchanter. And we don't sort really of, barely see it. I remember the that they built like a hand puppet that it was this thing. Yes, and I think it's um, actually more like the whole body like opens into like teeth. The rabbit of Carabinog was played by both a real rabbit and a hand puppet. That, but again, it barely had teeth. It looked like fairly realistically rabbit. It was just <laughs> it was just a vicious streak a mile wide in a fair, otherwise or normal rabbit. I feel like it was one of the first times a mage. Uh, Monty Python is major, right? Yeah, like major uh, movie came out that used that the trope of something innocent being horrificly violent. I love that you just have Jack Black showing up halfway across your screen. Oh, yeah, right you, y'all can't see, but over <laughs> here on this side of my screen, I just have like Jack Black's head by um, Parth Shah. Um, speaking of, are you ready for the next prompt? Uh, I yeah. believe I you know am, what? yes. Oh, yeah, let me... Wait, he I'm loves noodles. He loves dumplings. He even finished oh. off a whole basket of radishes as a baby. Uh, formerly Lotus, this is Master Po Ping, but you can call him Poe. Oh, dang. I think you don't need a very long timer for this. He's, he's full of round shapes. You Hashi, should be able to get this This is going one. back to your... Uh, Hashi did work on this movie, you, you all. I did work not, on this movie. So but not in the 3D not, world. Not to be uh, confused with any... Uh, any Hashi work I can on get the, to my... So show us how worked. you invented uh, Kung Fu Panda. How I invented Kung Fu Panda. Did well, I, tell you I, about the, did I tell you about the lunch I had with someone, I won't say who they are on camera, on mic, uh, who told me, I've had two, two different general meetings where with two different people who each told me they created Kung Fu Panda. Mm, I've never, I don't really? think I've ever actually tried to reconcile it with you to see who you think is more correct. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a confusing one because there's a, like many, many people contributed to making Kung Fu Panda. And I know that there was like a, uh, like a coloring book or something like that, that had a really similar story or something that like I didn't meet with any many years books. later was like challenged the whole premise. But <laughs> really like, I just remember the, the general vibe was like, can you imagine if, Jack Black was a panda learning to do Kung Fu. Like that, it was literally just pitched as that. So, so like the whole premise, like Jeffrey Katzenberg hung on, like, can we get Jack Black? Cause he would be hilarious as like a panda who couldn't do Kung Fu. Uh, the truth is that is, that is literally the, that what you need. That's that right there is greenlit immediately. It's like the perfect log line. Okay. Sorry. Master Poe real quick. I saved this. Now what's the right way to go about starting a new one? Uh, you can go up and say new document, or you can load up one of these other templates and say, uh, like you can lo- load the atmosphere again, the and then just uh, save it as some uh, save it as a new file. So I'll yeah. save this as. Whoops, not save next. Do we want to make it a rule that we that we start with a sphere each time? I think that's a good way to do it because yeah. then we can kind of like see that cool. I will right. tell you from from the prompts that I have planned, starting from a sphere will work for all of them. Terrific. Prompt was two. Okay. That was on um, purpose. What, on is, my what is our timer going to be here? I think you do. I think you can do a short one for this one. Ten minutes. Oh yeah, easy. Okay. Easy. No we'll problem. Character minutes. design is easy. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, this specific design uh, was designed by uh, Nico Marley, a really awesome artist. Michael, tell me when to hit hit the timer. Go for it. But you might probably want to clear the prompt off the screen so we can see what you're doing. But. Right. Oh boy. Now, as you begin starting on your pandas, Marley One Love says, Star Wars. Once you make a model in ZBrush, does it import directly into Cinema 4D easily? 
Oh man, we'll have to show you that. Yes, our jogging. We will we will discuss taking it into Cinema 4D in a little bit once they finish their sculpt. Star Wars. Yeah. Frigby is wondering uh, which one of your sculpts will look more like Poe from the Teletubbies. <laughs> well, so far, both. a movie on your television screen you're not seeing it the way it was originally intended marley one loves is asking these zebra sculptures don't have plugins once they're saved right uh no they do they're all they're all like most 3d things are oh. based on polygons it's uh yeah you just have control uh, later over how question. many polygons there are so in the uh, in the deformation tools, like I like this was not working out great, but I, I, I there's a, there's like there's an inflate. Yes, I've been using inflate. deformer, which which is lovely. There's also like thick skin is similar. Making beats. Okay. For that I mean, Poe famously does have thick skin. Oh, look, I can make him into that training dummy. Oh. <laughs> Black Pinterest asks, what's the worst part of creating a character, animating, sculpting, or the thinking process? Uh, well, you're not talking to a couple of character animators today, so that's probably a better question for one of the ZBrush Live episodes. Ian Robinson uh, does some great work, as uh, as well as a lot of the other ZBrush artists. So if you're interested in that, I would suggest you subscribe to ZBrush YouTube channel and hit the bell so you know when they're live, and you can talk to some amazing character artists that show up on ZBrush Live Sculpts. Like yeah, Pixelogic has specifically been doing awesome live streams and has great live stream support and building an online community. Like yeah, the Zebra way longer than we have. You've got seven and a half minutes left, and so far, you both have recognizably bearish shapes. I uh, will say, Thank Seth's you. definitely looks more overweight. Uh, Hashi's definitely looks more like a bear. So it's neck and neck, I would say. Our Junkie Picture says, does this have layers? Like you would sculpt clothes into the model or clothes go on another layer. Do you have layers um, when you sculpt in ZBrush? I know you do in Cinema 4D. When you're you don't Cinema have layers. You have these things called sub-tools. So we've been talking about them a little bit, but if I click right here, I have a sub-tool and I'm just modifying this one sphere right now to sort of try to make it into a panda-ish shape. And if I decide to go and add additional props, then I can do that too. So, so basically, yes, but by another name. They smell yes, just as sweet. By another name. Oh, Hashi, your ears are already looking great. Holy cow, that was fast. I don't like, remember they, what they went pose from blobs to ears like really fast. Ears look like though. I feel like they're higher. Seth, he needs to. He needs to see the the prompt. There you go. Oh yeah, they're very they're tiny and up here, huh? Thank you. Perry Taylor um, is saying that this one is starting off great. I agree, Perry. This is they're going great. They've got six minutes left and already very recognizably bears for both of you. Amazing. Very recognizably Thank bears you. is the name of my, <laughs> my new Oh that's project. that was this is not, that would be a fantastic little yeah, band or something. <laughs> Very, recognizable. very recognizably bears. I feel it would be a very camp uh, act starring some large gay men. Dances for Peace says animating characters uh, is easy. Animating them well is hard. Oh, but that's a uh, sculpting a character that can be animated there. well is even harder. And Mary, uh, Marley One Love says they subscribe to ZBrush and turn on the bell. Hey, while you're at it, whatever channel you all are watching on, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell on this one as well, especially if you're interested in visual effects and motion graphics. Red Giant uh, creates a ton of tools uh, to help your motion graphics and visual effects work better. So if you're on the Red Giant channel, this would be a great uh, channel to subscribe to because often the tips that come out uh, on here are useful for other things. Hashi has a great series called Cheap Tricks um, where he breaks down a lot of stuff in just After Effects without you having to even worry about uh, any plugins or stuff. I especially enjoyed his uh, Captain Marvel uh, episode uh, 
for really breaking down how the fractal noise effect can be useful for so many different things. So I would highly recommend checking that out. The link for that is in the chat. Uh, and uh, if you're on the Maxon channel, also a good place to go. Cinema 4D is the industry standard motion graphics tool for making 3D motion graphics. And they put out handy little quick tips all the time there. And if you're on Maxon training YouTube channel, that's the place for all the quick tips to go. They're coming out quite a bit of frequency. All right, gentlemen, you have four minutes left. I am enjoying the belly you got set. And also on your bear. How dare you? Frigby Show Weather says y'all have done the bare minimum so far. I disagree. I think your bears are getting pretty maximum. Gosh, heard. <laughs> now, Black Penter says y'all are amazing at sculpting. This would take them hours. What's the best way for beginner sculpt to make a property work? Black Panther, these folks are be beginners. Seriously, they, the Shh, best way to begin is to, to just start. Like, just start playing with it. That's one of the big differences here is that they were not afraid to just jump in and start fussing with it. You're not going to break ZBrush. Like, uh, you're just fussing I around the tools. ZBrush. You're not, <laughs> not, not going to make it, you're not going to make your computer die. Just start playing around. Just have fun with it. It, 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 it once you, you're not gonna make money or make a profit from your work as a beginner sculptor, most likely. But what you will do is have fun, be creative, and eventually you will build a skill set that can be used to be profitable later. And Dance of P says that Seth looks like Cookie Monster. Not anymore. So since you've made the comment, Seth has carried on going. Now it's a Teddy Graham that's come alive in your nightmares. Harry Taylor says they never heard of the Red Giant channel before, but very excited to dive into it. Yes, Red Giant has been around for quite a long time making tools. Uh, it's Red Giant started as filmmakers wanting to m make themselves tools to get their films working better. Start out with Magic Bullet, was one of the earliest uh, tool sets, Magic Bullet, uh, for doing some better color grading and film emulation tools. And that's where Red Giant started. One of my favorite tools uh, is Mag Magic Bullet Looks from Red Giant. I use it a lot for film emulation, um, especially Halation and Renoiser, which is very realistic film grain simulation. Um, but Red Giant also makes the famous Trap Code Suite for After Effects, which is the industry standard particle si simulation tool. Also, Universe for editors works in Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro, Avid Media Composer, DaVinci Resolve, bringing better tools for editors. And as the VFX Suite, which has Primat Keyer and my, one of my favorite tools called Super Comp. Very good for doing visual effects stuff. Oh, I love the wireframe song. You've got a minute and a minute and forty seconds. Oh, what have I done to your face? I'm so sorry. God, to me. Ah! When did I do that? This is an ILM uh, artist oh, okay. from. Uh, you realized you could use a minute. visual at, uh, you could use a visual Independence at Day, and it reminds me of Jonas a little bit. Paradigm shift. Paradigm shift. Now it's you saying paradigm shift. As I often do, I'm always like, it's a paradigm shift, and you're like, this. <laughs> forty not, seconds, folks. Not not a seconds. species of bird. You're none of these are paradigm shifts. Kind of like a paradigm shift when we realized it's not just you could use it. Well, it's not, 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 not. Uh, Michael Michael Pollock wants your bear to be dodging Kylo Ren's blaster, Seth. Paradigm shift. And it will be. Fifteen seconds. Uh, Ashi, your proportions are looking pretty close, buddy. I'm focusing too much on proportions and not enough on uh, overall read. Time is up. Whoa. Put your right. trackpads down. Okay. We did it. All Look right. Look at that. Hashi, Look that's pretty that. freaking great, dude. <laughs> that's really good. I really love ours next to each other a lot. <laughs>
They're Seth, fantastic. yours looks like something I would like that I could call, I could genuinely sculpt out of clay. Like it's that's yeah, pretty good. Mine looks like you know a kit. Yes, hundred percent. Hey, real quick before we go to the next thing, Marley One Love is saying, in your experience, have you found many visual effects artists who don't have a college degree, just good experience and a good skill set? Hashi, what do you what do you say? I would say almost all oh, Hashi. Yeah. Right? It is, yeah. For for me, it seems like the hiring was always based on reels and projects that they had worked on, as opposed to any specific degree. Uh, and the de- the only time we were ever looking at degrees to hire artists was sort of to see if they had worked at all in a professional capacity and like where they were able to receive feedback. Uh, like that, like that's the most. Uh, that was the most that we were actually looking at the education part for. Well, I will say, yeah, they, a lot of. A, a lot of the, a lot of people I know, the way they got in was because they got in through connections they made at school. Uh, if they got that is a good that is a good point, especially uh, yeah for for visual artists. If you're talking about um, yeah, a lot of that was like the school they went to, and like a bunch of students would like come up together in it. For visual effects broadly, I have no idea now. I feel like never most people I've met in visual effects who actually work in it went to school somewhere. Um, but whether that's, uh, that's causation versus correlation, I don't know. Hashi, real quick, but before we go on to our next, uh, or the next prompt and the next sculpt, can you show the folks who are asking how to get some, a sculpt from ZBrush into say cinema 4d? So yeah, if you have a uh, ZBrush open, you have your project like this, uh, it's, it's a multi-stage process. First of all, you locate this button that says Go Z, and then you click the button that says Go Z. And um, if you... Uh... And now I have... Uh... And now it's in Cinema 4D. And now it's go. in Cinema 4D. Very so complicated that's how... process. One button. Ta-da! So now, I feel uh, yeah. like we should, next week take these and animate these models we make this week, animate them and integrate them into like, we should replace Poe in a scene from Kung Fu Panda with our pose. And I feel like that is a phenomenal idea, et cetera. That's probably what we'll do next week, everybody. So if you want to see bringing this into cinema and animating and everything and rigging it, tune in next week. I'm going to go ahead and say that's what we're doing next week. Now, now, real real quick, we're going to bring these to life. If, if, if you're sculpt, that you've got here is uh, both of you, if, if both of your sculpts are sipping on a, a steeped beverage, would you call that a tea pose? Michael, we talked about this. <laughs> it's stupid. All of it. So, <laughs> so there you go. It's one button. Um, you launch the Go Z. And it, it just sends your sculpt from ZBrush right into Cinema 4D. Now, the, once you have a full, complex sculpt in ZBrush, you may want to take some steps to decimate it, some uh, lower the poly count, et cetera, before you send it off to Cinema 4D. But maybe not. Maybe you, yeah. maybe you want it with its full its full details. It's, it's kind of up to you. The Z remesher uh, from ZBrush is available in Cinema 4D. So if you're working on it and you need a different polygon a flow, it's very easy to get that same sort of delightful... Uh, uh, automatic polygon flow in Cinema 4D just as well as you can in ZBrush. Uh, I've got another prompt uh, ready to go for the two of you right. whenever you're whenever you're ready. I've got okay, it. I've, uh, I've saved it. I'm good to go when you are. Saved it. Nice. I should be ready in just a second here. Why, why can't I see all of my... Okay, I am pretty much ready as well. I'll save this one as prompt three. All right, this next creature uh, was so fearsome, creature. fearsome and violent, it caused the Motion Picture Association of America to invent the PG-13 rating, which it brought out just two months after this film's release. It's everyone's favorite, favorite murderous grim line. It's Stripe. Ooh, Stripe. Get it? Grim line? Because Stripe? Because line? I'm angry right. that I have to do a Gremlins one, but that's not this show. That's another show. It's, it's because like yeah, Gremlins is Seth's favorite uh, IP, and just <laughs> it's very sad. You know, like depending on like how how faithful the representation is of. You died on a Saturday morning. 
right. Gremlins. All right. How many, how many minutes are we giving the gremlins? I think this None. one could use, <laughs> Sorry. I, I think, I think you could get a good gremlin head in like 10 minutes. Plus I don't want you to miss out on the next prompt that I have to go. So I fear going in too much longer would make you not be able to do the next prompt I have. 10 minutes. It 10 is. Minutes. All right. All right. So I'm going to make go. what I think. Actually, I will say, I do think gremlins is a terrible movie. Not terrible. It's just, I don't like Gremlins at all. But the character design, flawless. Uh, big fan yes, of the design behind Gremlins. That's a pretty hot take, folks. If you have any alternative opinions, feel free to comment them in the chat. So yeah, Gremlins is not a good movie, guys. You remember it as good, but it's not. It's not. It just lies. Your it body has, tells it. It has cool, itself. very cool things about it. I'm a big Joe Dante fan. Just do not like Gremlins. Or the Goonies. Come at me. <gasps> Ooh, man. Just coming in here with the... Uh, Basically, movies don't watch G. these movies as adults. Gremlins, Goonies. Like, don't watch them for the first time as adults. They will not... For the first time, yeah. Uh, let's see. Goonies is good to watch for the first time as a kid. So if you've got kids, play Goonies for them, but don't watch it yourself. Also... Don't watch Gremlins with your kid if your kid's still... Yeah, please don't. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't watch this, Gremlins with your kids. Just don't watch it with your kids. Yeah, no, don't watch anything choice. with your kids. Dear God, don't spend time with your children. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hashi's already got a body. And does he? <laughs> Heck yeah. HR. Actually, Hashi, if you haven't called HR on me by now, I think I'm Speaking good. of HR, Michael Powlek, I appreciate the joke you've made, but I am not putting it up on the screen. Where? We're done. By the way, you don't have to hold the select the right mouse. You can just click in the gray area and drag, and that rotates. And come on, holding Alt and clicking the gray area. That's huge for me because on a trackpad, right click is two fingers. And I don't want to do that anymore. Uh, You're doing the whole body? I don't know why. I don't know. Overachiever, man. I've ended up here. I'm not going to finish this. I'm not going to get to the Speaking. head even. Speaking of the gremlins, and I would say, Hashi, the head is a fairly important part of a gremlin. Uh, I would move on to the head sooner rather than later. Um, speaking of the gremlins, uh, if you have ever been interested in an ET and gremlins, if you've ever been interested in an ET and gremlins crossover, uh, there is an R-rated uh, trailer for the ET gremlins crossover in a link Again, in the chat. Don't watch that for this stream. Definitely watch that with <laughs> your childhood. I'm making a pig. Yeah, I was about to say, Seth, uh, like, literally that it's a pig. Literally, you're a pig. You should see me eat it, that it's not a lie. Oh, hey, also, hey, folks in the chat, is the music to voice volume ratio good for you? Question mark. All right, stripe. His ears are very big, in proportion to his to his to his head. Hashi, holy crap! <laughs> that stupid idiot. I hate him. <laughs> it's so good. I hate him and I love him. Uh, just I'm just the dialed in. Music. I can't. I, it turns out I can't talk over what I'm doing in ZBrush. Justin Leduc oh, says the music the, could be a little lower. World, Hash. Seth, if you could turn the music just a little bit lower, the chat would appreciate it. Okay. A little bit, not not a lot of it. They would never say anything until you asked. So. Oh, the yeah, only one person. Uh, uh, Justin Leduc though says. Care about what what our viewers think, is it? Justin says Seth's breathing sounds could be a little louder. Get out of here. <laughs> Have any of you ever met Justin Leduc in real life, or are they just? Or is being... he just? Li is he just like this? <laughs> <laughs> 
Justin. Like, Justin's razzing like they know us. And it started from seemingly day one. I lost it. I, I completely lost this character. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. Well, uh, you, the ears are looking good. Hashi, oh, holy crap. Uh, but there is five you minutes left. Do not include You're... your, like, <laughs> your, your interjections about Hashi while giving me tips. It, it throws me off. Sorry, uh, you're you're starting to get to a recognizable silhouette if you keep going. I did not. Oh god, I made Shrek. Shoot. <laughs> that's that's what the the whole DreamWorks Studio said when it came out. It was like, what? Oh god, I made Shrek. <laughs> oh god, we made the movie Shrek. Just woke up and I'm like, wait, what was that? What did we do last night? Oh, uh, speaking of Shrek, by the way, folks in the chat, if you are fairly new to VFX and Chill, there's a link that has just dropped in the chat um, that has Shrek uh, on fire. It's a VFX and Chill episode where Hashi and Seth uh, basically set fire to things, playing with a new pyro uh, fire simulation in Cinema 4D, and sh having <laughs> making Shrek dance around the screen with fire coming out of his antenna ear things is so so amazing like I can't even describe how much fun uh, was had in that episode so I would highly recommend checking out that one once this stream is done you've got a few links uh, to go to go look at here here's yet another one three and a half minutes are remaining and a half minutes remaining can you put the uh, how much image junk whatever? are you put in that trunk oh, oh there you go there's his head okay jeez Louise Okay. Now I would I would okay. say I wouldn't I wouldn't do the hair in ZBrush I would say just get the head shape roughly right and uh, you know w later maybe next week we can pop the hair on in Cinema 4D because Cinema 4D has um, despite its age still a fairly decent hair system and it renders seamlessly in ZBrush which is lovely or Redshift what did I say anyway renders in Redshift it's lovely it's hair it's fantastic it's hair. Nick Smith is asking, are we sure Hashi's a beginner? Uh, Hashi has a different level of skill. Just Some people are just, you know how someone can pick up, kind of person. pick up a guitar, they can pick up a flute, they can pick up anything musical and make good music out of it. Hashi is something like that with digital art. Michael Palak is also, is, however, is pointing out that Hashi's gremlin is definitely in a twerking pose. <laughs> oh, wait, we're good. If you, if you don't think we're going to an not animate that, how, how many negatives did I have in that sentence? If you don't think that we're not going to animate that next week, you would be wrong. Aerospacenews.com is asking, is there any chance trap code will be coming to Unreal Engine host application? That's a good question. Ooh, um, that's a good I, question. I, I don't know. Um, I know you can make particles in Cinema 4D that go over into Unreal pretty easily. Uh, I have not, I have not uh, checked with trap code. See, the problem with trap code is that the date, getting the data from it into something that Unreal would recognize is a little trickier than getting out of Cinema 4D. Um, a better question would be, is Cinema 4D going to get a better particle system anytime soon? And I will answer that question for you maybe sometime in the future. Um, but I will ask the trap code folks about that. And having, they, they, it would be good for them to know that people are asking about that. So I'll, I'll, I'll pass that on to the trap code folks. It's working gremlin, it really is. Well, I've, I've got to do my our famous, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> and we got the new thumbnail. I was wondering when we were going to, how we were going to put that into the thumbnail this week. I made the thing from NeverEnding Story, the dog. Well, you've got a minute left to Falcor, turn into something oh my gosh. else. But you definitely have. Okay, here's what has to happen. See, what I'm doing right now is I'm opening up VFX and Shell to a whole new demo. You got 30 seconds. Michael Palex thinks that yours is a pokey mogwai. And happy new year to you too, aerospacenews.com. 
Thank you, Aerospace News. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> it's dot net. Um, 10 seconds. Finish oh. your sculpts. Uh, what do I want? I want a uh, small one of these. All right. Yeah. Uh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> that was the prompt. What I love is that this is not uh, this is not that unusual in the realm of uh, like Gremlins canon. Like the fact that this is not in Gremlins two <laughs> is probably only running time concern. Yep. That so, is save. like almost recognizably a Gremlin, Hashi. Let's see. What would what a, uh, do we have a? Hey, you can't. Keep while working. you're looking, he, he's he's just going through the undo stack. Um, yes, Arrow. There is another red giant tool available in uh, Unreal Engine. You can get magic bullet looks in there. You can actually set a volume in an Unreal scene that has magic bullet looks in it. So you could be like running through and like go underwater, and then suddenly it's got a cool cinematic color grade with magic bullet looks. Fantastic. I was so much closer to the ears right at the beginning. And then, yeah, see, that's the best part about the undo history. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, Justin LeDuc wants to know which Kardashian is the one on the left. left. <laughs> Stripe Kardashian. Gizmo Kardashian. All right. I always think. I, I think. Stripe I think if we do one twenty-minute timer and one ten-minute timer, we might be able to get two more prompts in today. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, so get, you, get yourself like whale, whale tail uh, feet. Damn. Get yourselves like a, a new like half chicken, half uh, whale tail. <laughs> that look. Okay. Those feet look like what happens when I try to do one of those brand new AI prompting 3d model creation things. <laughs> that <laughs> that is a, so, that's so a, like, uh, that's an abomination. Like that is, <laughs> that shouldn't be alive is what that is. It shouldn't. All right. Get yourself a new document, Hashi. Oh, uh, gosh. Save and... This show is so great. Tell me this feeling lasts till forever. Tell me the bad times are clean washed away. Please understand that it's still strange and frightening for losers like I've been. It's so hard to say. Suddenly see more. It's time to Rick sculpt Moranis Audrey 2. It's time to sculpt Audrey 2. What? Yeah. Oh my god! Yep, yep. Yeah. It's got a face. It's got teeth. It's got vines everywhere. I'm thinking snake hook galore with Sculptus Pro turned on. Before we get go, I got to get going. I got to ask: Is it possible to bring in another primitive into this file? Like I start with a sphere, but is it possible to bring in like a a cylinder oh, yes. at the bottom? Uh, yeah. So the way you would do that is you go over here where it says sub tool. And click on the subtool menu. It's sort of oh, right under you your. Went, yeah, you went behind mine, buddy. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm behind the screen. Uh, there we go. So right here, under where these like yeah. recently used tools are, is subtool, and then you will see a little like layer stack of sorts. Okay. So not where you're clicking. Like this will be your base to start with. Subtool. Then. Nailed it. Subtool, and now you go down here and say append. The classic word for adding something on to something else. Okay, okay. And then you'll select what you want. Now you have that. And now you have to make sure that layer is selected. Right now, I think your circle still is. So now that's selected, and you can go up to the move tools or use, you know, W E R mm. to cycle between those. And now look at that. See? Okay. Sorry, I got to start before the timer started. That, I think this is, this is good. Michael, should this be the 10 or the 20? I think this could be the 10. Let's go. I mean, it's got a lot All of teeth. Right. The teeth are easy with the snake hook, so, and the vines are easy with the snake hook. I think, I think you can get pretty close to a lippy, toothy, viney thing in 10 minutes. That by snake be. hooking your way, <laughs> by snake hooking your way into glory. Entertainment. A fun fact about how they were able to have such amazing uh, 
talking plants in this movie. Uh, it was this amazing uh, Henson creature shop built plant that could articulate and move around and do all of the lip sync and everything like that, but not at full speed. It was a ginormous puppet to move around. And you also, it's just really hard to move that much mass so quickly. So what Rick Moranis, the amazing, amazing human did was they would play back the music at like half speed and animate the plant to a slower one. And Rick Moranis would do his acting in slow motion Holy cow. So they could over crank it and have a plant that was super articulated. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Because back then their electronics technology wasn't at where they could make something that large move with that much detail at that speed. So they would have to play it. That's such a good idea. And, and if you watch them, it's like, you can slightly tell there's like a, there's the littlest bit of uh, like, like the shift jiggles and fast. wiggle happening, yeah. like where he's trying to like take slow human steps you know, I'm going to have to watch this movie at some point. Wait, you've not seen this movie? I've never seen the movie or the stage oh, play. It's so good! I it's only know about it from, from what watch I read on Wikipedia the, the today. Movie is, Michael, like, the movie's a good, wholesome way to enjoy it. Michael, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be here to support you and say I have never actually watched it either. Directed by Frank Oz? I know, I know. Given, oh my god. It's the music even is on point. It's this like weird how... doo woppy fifties. Oh my gosh! Just me by. I know. I can't even. I can't even think right now. I'm just. I haven't even started on the project. I'm just so excited that some new friends are going to get to experience. Oh hey, Arrow, um, SpaceNews.com. Just Louis. Um, could could you talk to could you like DM Red Giant on Twitter or Instagram or on Facebook or somewhere to chat more about what you would like to see from Trapcode in Unreal Engine? The product the product manager for Trapcode is asking what is missing from Unreal that you think Trapcode could bring to it. They would love to hear more from you about it. So if you DM Red Giant, uh, Max on Red Giant on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Or threads, if you're that type of person, um, they would like the product. Pro, the product manager for Trapcode would love to hear more from you about what you would like to see. Uh, now, poor Nash, poor Vanch, sorry, yes, is saying it's been a while since Hashi came out with a cheap tricks video, or Seth came out with a Seth Worley tutorial. Are you guys planning to make any more tutorial videos anytime soon? Um, we're, we're doing it right now. Yeah, we're doing it right now. They mean, they mean a more focused, dedicated tutorial series. I, I, I will I say understand. the Cheap Tricks series that you made, Kashi, and uh, this, the tutorials you've made, Seth, have all both been like just full of like nonstop tips, and I can understand why people want more of them. I will That's say I have been making some, we do I've been making some fast-paced tutorials on there on the Red Giant channel. If you hop on the Red Giant channel now, you'll see that. I've, there's quite a few tutorials from me on there, and one rec fairly recent Cheap Tricks from Hashi. Uh, but you, you two, are you, are you planning to make any more tutorials anytime soon that are more more focused than a two-hour yeah, VFX tutorial? I don't know how soon. I, Michael literally just said he's he's filling that void very well. Go watch his. Yeah, that's a short. I keep on short. getting sort of started on some, and then and then get distracted because I'm doing something exciting for this show. Like this, <laughs> doing something <laughs> really important. See, the thing about having, yeah. Like I think that we we are a, a fun trio of uh, ADHDers trying to uh, all of us have ADHD make our way in the uh, <laughs> we couldn't tell. By the way, did you take your meds, Hosh? Oh man, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the problem with ADHD you, you folks. Got, yeah, I'm we surprised you don't do like a you don't have a routine in place to make sure well, you do it. I mean, I'm not. Well, the thing is, I have I have twenty routines in place <laughs> hmm. because yeah. the as soon as one fails, like I need to come up with another one, and then suddenly that one doesn't work so well. And what, what looking looking here? at Seth's screen, I'm thinking he's about to do the chompy flower from Mario movie from the Mario yeah. Brothers universe because he's got that little tube at the bottom there yeah and no, whereas hashi is already recognizable as audrey <laughs> yep <laughs> uh i'm just gonna work on pac-man here inflate <laughs> you've got four minutes and 43 seconds to finish your pac-man wait well quick edit mode is off oh 
So is that this? Uh oh, what did I do? What did I do? Transform palette? I activated something by accident. Uh, IR Sculpts is in the chat, by the way. I, I forgot to mention that earlier. Saying, what is happening here? He, 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 he. Well, IR Sculpts, well, you are sculpts. as you can clearly say, you can, as you can clearly see, uh, things have turned suddenly Seymour. No, they... Uh, Wait, what yes. am I doing? Um, if, for those of you who haven't... Do been watching zbrush stuff a lot ir sculpt is an amazing artist i've stood next to them uh, and watched them create stunning things so fast in zbrush if you want some good yes ir sculpts it is little shop of horrors yes no, no, why did the team stream die i don't know oh wait oh no i've done something i don't know how to do wait i'm in i'm in jump? quick edit mode why am i in quick edit mode did something happen? How did you get I, into why it? Can't I be out of it? No, uh, so Marley is asking why the Twitch stream stopped working, but it seems to be working fine. Huh. What have I done? Hey, IR Sculpts, if you can help Hashi figure out what he did and how to get out of it, that'd be great. You could suggest something in the chat. I moved myself into. Uh, what did I do? I'm in. Uh, Which cannot be edited while I'm in quick edit mode is off. Please turn quick at 3D edit in the transform palette. I would assume the transform palette is here. Edit object. Where's quick edit? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, quick. Okay. Don't know how I did that. There it is. Got a Good neck gravy. happening. Got a net going lost, on. Lost way too much time just uh, doing that. You got two and a half minutes. I think you can get some a bunch of vines out the back end and some teeth uh, in, in two, two, two minutes. You just need a bunch of teeth and a bunch of vines. I think you, I think you got it. Oops. Uh, oops, that's not what I I'm, meant I'm to very do. curious about... Because you two have very different approaches to your sculpting. Uh, and I'm kind of curious what what that is. Because, <laughs> Hush, you seem to get a basic silhouette down pretty fast. And I don't. Ah. Do that again. Ah, that's so cool. <laughs> ah, what am I doing? What are you doing? Fine, fine. Did you say vine, vine, or fine, fine? Oh, you've got two minutes left, so. Ah. I don't fine. have time to do this and do your do and tell you to screw, <laughs> screw, yeah, screw off. Star Wars. I started nerding out too hard about. Uh, Falling apart. Oh my god. Are you snake hooking yet, Hashi? Oh yeah, I should snake hook. This is a this is a family show. Uh, right. No time to sneak. When you watch a movie on your television screen... 53 seconds left. The way it was originally 50. When you watch a movie on your television screen... When you watch a movie 50 on your seconds? Screen, when you 42. Movie 41. On okay. 40. That's not helpful. The way it was originally in the uh, what do I want? I want to... Uh... Oops. The way it was originally in when you watch a movie on your television screen, you're not seeing it the way it was originally intended. Um, Blixa is asking, Do you all have social media? I want to follow you, but I'm having a tough time finding you. Well, you can find Red Giant on at Max on Red Giant on most of the social media channels on Twitter slash X and on Instagram and threads and Facebook is all Max on oh, Red yeah. Giant. Uh, I am, oh, oh. time's up. I am the great Zalam, the great S Z A L A M on most of the social media channels. Hashi is Action Movie Kids or Action Movie Dad, depending on uh, which social media channel you're on. And Seth is the Seth Worley or uh, Awakeland 3D, different things. Oh my gosh. 
So there we go. Hashi, yeah, that's incredible. Uh, time is up. That's absolutely <laughs> I incredible. Actually, I actually that's dig this. So good. <laughs> I have wanted to animate, like just in general. Uh, I, yeah, I am in love with with Audrey too. I, I just love the design. I, over the course of my life, I have built various scales of this it, with like physical props because I was like, I'm going to make a movie that is Little Shop of Horrors. I don't know why. Like as a kid, you just make movies that are other movies. But so uh, this prompt was like if Michael had said, "Create simulated gate weave." On optical titles, uh, it's, it's is what exactly it would have been like, like for me, right? Seth, you mm. are so much closer than I would have been because you've got like clearly a plant with a mouth and vines. Like you've got stuff going on. Nick Smith says that you made Krang, which that's isn't, what it looks like. <laughs> oh. Isn't wrong. <laughs> that is what it looks like. Seth made Krang. It's going on my. Seth obituary. made Krang. Uh, Justin Ludwig says amazing work, Hashi, and Seth is killing again with his beautiful abstract art. Uh, right. No, I think it's good. Uh, you. Y'all, y'all ready for the last prompt of the show? Oh, I didn't realize IR Sculpts was our, was, our, was our boy, Ian. Our boy, yes. our boss, our supervisor, our friend, our pal, our, our lover. Our, uh, wh- uh, I'm just digging myself a little hole here. Do, 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 do. Oh, it didn't do anything. I thought that, <laughs> I thought that would start digging a hole, and it didn't. Uh, no, but you did. You do need to save what you've got because I, we, you need to keep that for later. Don't lose your. Don't lose anything. Okay, I won't lose anything. Bring it back. I there you go. Save. Don't lose. We're we're gonna take all of these props next week and start figuring out how to. We're gonna put them into the movie. animate and yes. and bring them to life. The, all of them. It's gonna be great. So new sphere. No, I don't need. A- okay, we're back to sphere. I'm gonna save this as what is this prompt five? Uh, that was prompt four. Yeah. Nice. We, we're doing. We're doing okay. Oh, what am I doing? I... No, that's prompt five. Uh, this is prompt five. Yeah. Yes, the one you're about to begin is prompt five. Do you like singing? Do you like danger? Do you like chopping oh, up prompting. children's pets? I know what was happening? For, yeah, I'm prompt prompting. Do you like singing? <laughs> Do you like danger? Do you like chopping up children's pets for medical purposes? Uh, then you might like Pete the Dragon. Wow, that was quite oh my a gosh, that was a <laughs> wild, wild misdirect. Oh, my gosh. Well, you remember, they were trying to use every piece uh, for various purposes. Uh, I was My intention is for you to do Peace Dragon from the 1977 movie, not the more recent one, which was sculpted in ZBrush, by the way. And you can uh, hear, uh, hear talks from the Nomen School from the guy who actually did the character design for the recent Pete's Dragon. Not the but photo no, real one. Got it. I don't want you to do the photo real furry green one from the recent Disney remake. I want you to do the Pete's Dragon from the 1977 version. 20 minutes on the clock. Let's go. All right. I'm going to go back to Bex for some Yeah, this is, this is not Puff the Magic Dragon who lives by the sea. This is Pete's Dragon Elliot. Uh, Nick Smith is making a callback. Says next week's show will be titled Pose Morphs. <laughs> pose. That's pose. pretty good. Pose Morphs. I mean, it's, it's very similar to my T pose joke from earlier, but I, I, I will accept it. Okay. Now, here's a question for, for folks who are watching on the Zebras channel who are actually sculptors, IR sculpts uh, included. Um, what would you say is the most important thing when you're building a character like this that's going to be expressive? Do you do the whole body first, or do you work on the face and then the rest of the body? I'm very curious how you would do approach a character like this. Like you know, it's going to have to have an emotive face. You know, that's going to be carrying a lot of how this otherwise fearsome creature would be seen as, like in the show. Like, how would you do? You start with the face and get that right first, or do you do the whole? the whole silhouette first and then start going in on the details of a face. I'm, I'm very curious from actual character designers. Why'd your audio How you do here, this? Michael? I don't know. I didn't touch anything. I literally haven't touched it since I started talking. Huh. <laughs> IR Scope saying they didn't even know that they remade Pete's Dragon. Yes, they did. Back in 2016, I think. Yeah, it was directed like by, uh, what's his name, who did uh, the ghost story? <laughs> 
I've heard it was really, it was actually really good, just very it's different good. from the original. It's because it wasn't a, it's, it's not a musical. It's more dramatic. It's good, it, and it's a bit of a downer of a movie, to be honest. Like, I mean, it's, well, it's, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. That is just like a that job moment in the Elliot ABC in the dinosaur version. documentary where there's the. Both oh, you guys impressive, are like weird. ritual dance that the dinosaur does, and it's just like, pew! I knew I had to make one of today's prompts some sort of dragon because everyone wants when they when, when everyone first gets ZBrush, dragons are like the thing everyone wants to make with it because a lot of very famous dragons, like the ones from Game of Thrones, were made in ZBrush, and everyone wants everyone wants to make dragons in ZBrush. I know I do. Okay. IR Sculpt says that they block out rough shapes of the whole body and focus on the silhouette first. Mary Love, Mary Marley One Love is enjoying that bong that Seth is making. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, let's be kind, everybody. We're no, that's accurate. I mean, it's 100% what I just named. Right? It's 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 a start. Now you. I think both of you are missing how big the jaw is on the Pete the Dragon. I'm not. I'm just not with Elliot. this. No, no, your yours is, is a cow. Yours is a bra- yours is recognizably a bracket, right? like an old time Disney cow face. No, it's like I recognize that skull. The top part of that skull looked like a brachiosaurus. Seth, you were like going for like realistic dinosaur, which is not what we're after. We're after stupid cartoon dragon from the 1970s. Oh, I'll get a stupid. Don't you? Aeroscope says after the silhouette is good, then they, they clean, and it's cleaned up of the primaries and move into the secondary forms. And I feel like I should know what primary and secondary forms are, but I don't because I have never done sculpting in my life. Elemento <laughs> says this is pure chaos with so much happening. Welcome to VFX and chill. <laughs> this is a timer episode where chaos frequently happens. Chaos reigns. I need to make that drop. My good buddy. Oh. Oh, go ahead, Michael. That's more. Oh, I was just saying. I feel like we we had, we had a great chance for tentacles complete on the previous one with all those vines, but oh. the vi- the vines on both your sculpts came in at the last second, and you're both doing such a good job that I didn't want to interrupt to 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 make it happen. Uh, Justin the Duke wants you to keep the butt chin you had for a second. I assume they're referring to the sculpt, not your webcam view. I'm glad that they saw it as a butt and not something. Uh, Barry Clark says it's got sassy hands on your sculpt there, Hashi. They and they love the sassy hands. Oh yeah, <laughs> those are some okay, sassy. I'm gonna, hands. I, I, I'm gonna try to leave these the best I can. You can tell. You can tell this dragon was in a musical. It's got those sassy hands going on. This music is great, by the way, Seth. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, Rex really killed it on this album. I like I like the detail you've got going on on the neck. It's, <laughs> looking, it's looking good. Good is Hashi, it? Nost- Hashi, those nostrils. Hashi, those nostrils are great. Nashi, those really need to work on it. It still needs a. Ch- it still needs like a hefty chin. Like the thing, it's got like. I know you're going to get to it eventually, but like I feel like it's the main part of its personality. Hey, Hashi, when the do you think Michael's gonna chin. shut up about this chin? It needs a big dopey yeah, but- chin. All right, I'm, I need I need a reference. Don't have a don't have a good oh, memory sorry, of sorry, that. Oh, sorry, my bad. There you go. Now, Hashi, you are working on a half right. screen. I don't think it would be cheap. I, I just realized I, I can pull up a reference over here. Okay, much better. I didn't remember how. Uh, Hey Ian, did you ever chat with the guy who did the creature design for Peace Dragon in the remake? Because I would love to to, to hear how they decided to make a furry dragon as opposed to a scaly dragon. So anyway, if you ever chat with him, ask that for me, please. Thanks. 
I made the thing from Never Ending Story again. The dog. You just seem to be that, drawn that to that. That needs to be our prompt next time. <laughs> Man. Seth, I think you're. I think this is gonna be. This is your best one so far, uh, as far as the head goes. It's I looking pretty my good. Rabbit was pretty good, but no, <laughs> your rabbit was amazing <laughs> for different reasons. <laughs> Marley, Character. Marley, one love from Twitter that from Twitch this time says they've been pretty hooked on Cinema 4D. They made a Ghost, a Submarine, a Bowl, a few others so far. Yes, uh, Cinema 4D is one of my favorite thing uh, computer programs in the whole world. I can play in Cinema 4D for hours and sometimes get paid for it. And have. Yeah, yeah I'm. I'm uh, I've like, been doing like some stage, a lot of stage graphics like in it lately. It's very fun. Just making a cow. Ah. Why can't I do the thing that I want to do? Oh. Okay. You to be that big old round jawish thing. He's got a heck of a chin, right? I don't know. Does it have? Does it have? Even have a, he can have a chin? I don't know. Let's see. And then, oh, let me try this. Let's. Um, oh, whoops! I moved the thing over here. I mean, do that. This is garbage. Oh, it's ridiculous. Okay, I gotta make this work. What's interesting in the remake of Pete's Dragon is like they were working to get a lot of different characteristics from a lot of different animals into the dragon. Like they were focused on getting like almost a cat like, like leopard, lion y, like little face thing going on. Uh, as opposed to just getting total, you know, totally lizard based uh, things. To that end, Seth, I appreciate the cowness that you're bringing to your, your dragon. Michael, uh, well, I mean, I think that Pete's Dragon is super, like, super, the, yeah. like the. Washington, yeah, both of these very cowy. Yeah. He gave yours a wig. Give it a wig. <laughs> Give a little you got wig. 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left. Okay. I Julian Kim like Archet says Hashi's dragon looks like Jay Leno. Yes, the guy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yes. It's a dragon. Yeah, it does. My perfect Jay Leno impression. I just did. That was amazing. I could. I that thought he joined the stream. <laughs> uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Leno. Yours <laughs> <laughs> uh, has so much, so much character, dude. So does yours, Seth. This is one of your. I like yours. Feels like things. That's what. She, trying to do. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Ground clear. Let's go back to this, my favorite material. See, one thing I never remember to do is to actually use the, uh, the masking tools when I'm sculpting because they would be super helpful. Like they're they're a great thing to be there. Are I, the masking I forget tools, constantly to ever use them. 
Are the masking tools in ZBrush, like, you paint an area and say, I don't want what I'm doing here to affect this masked area, or, or I do want to affect just this area, basically, so you can say, hey, this part doesn't get smushed around when I'm trying to move the chin? Is that basically how it goes? Exactly. So, like, if I didn't want the... Uh... Nick Smith is enjoying the Legends of the Hidden Temple vibe in the previous music track. <laughs> it definitely has Legends of the Hidden Temple vibes. Fantastic reference. Oh, I thought we were almost done. We still have one. No, no, no. You've got seven minutes got? left. I've got seven. seven. Seven and three quarters, almost. Oh, nice. I like I, the I this It's very small. I wanted this one to have a bit more time so you could you could actually, like, now that you're warmed up, like, actually do something with it. But if you're, if you're, if you're like, at a place where you're done, we can always stop and talk about other things before the show's end. Is anything, anybody, anybody uh, anything up in the chat, Michael? Uh, I have shared everything of note from the chat. Cool. As best, as best I could. And folks in the chat, if you have any questions you would like to ask while they're sculpting, they, they've got six... Uh, almost seven minutes left in this scope, so feel free to ask things and I'll pass it on to them. Getting too detailed too fast, ignoring the rest. How big are your well, he's got he's got regular size arms. I thought he had like T Rex arms. Or uh, <laughs> regular. Well, t this dragon's t got regular arms. arms. Everyone. T Rex arms are regular for T Rexes. Regular, I just mean they're all, they're all like they're tune portioned arms. Michael Pollock says, talking about stuff at the end of the show, that would be a pose T morphem. It's <clears throat> pretty good. And kind of a sketch reference once you see my movie. Whoops. It, when it, whenever that movie eventually gets released, it'll be great. Michael Pollock says, this is Seth's best sculpt yet. I agree. It's fantastic. We've got four minutes left. Four minutes. 359. Uh, 358. Uh, Shoot. Shoot. Mm. Got up. All right, what do I need? I need a tiny oh, flayed brush. See Let's see if we can. There we go. Looking for the inflate brush to make some more. Oh, yeah, that adds bulk real fast.
We are all about body uh, body positivity with our dragons on this show. How do I? Do oh, this? what did I do? Sorry, disco dragon. Seth, what happened to your wings? Uh, Justin Ledick was enjoying like you wing- it feels like there's you a winging it. For it, and I don't know what it is. Wait, oh, wings? Yes, the dragon, dragon has wings, wings yet. Yeah, you've got three minutes to make some good wings, Seth. Ugh. And Hashi. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. How would you start pulling pulling a wing up out of this? And also, this question is is for anyone in the chat who actually knows, who has done sculpting before. How do you start making wings? Because they are oh, l- very thin. I very did, large. I, did I think the snake hook again is your is your best bet for this well, stuff. I did, you I did that, and then I inflated them, and then I tried to flatten them, but they didn't really didn't like it. Ian, any any ideas on how you you make wings this, happen? I'd make the focal shaft bigger. Maybe I do. Oops. Huge snake. I need to work to this album more often. This is. This, this is, is pretty such great. A, I need. I, I was gonna say I need. I need this album for working too, as well. If you Two want minutes. to find it, it's called a 1980 synth original motion picture sound pack by Bex Whirly or Ben Whirly. I'm not sure which one it's credited as. In Apple Music. I think it's Ben Whirly is what the credit does. Uh, that one 3D artist suggests that if you uh, you can append. Or use Dynamesh, mask an area, use the move gizmo to pull it out, and then inflate. And that would how you would that's how you would, oh, they would, that's do, a good they idea. would do wings. Um, oh, I IR sculpts it. says curve quad fill brush. That is the entire curve extent quad of my comment. Fill brush. Curve Ooh. quad fill brush. I, 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 I know those all are, four of those, those are words, words, but I would never have put them all together like that. Okay, it did something. Hashi, what the heck? I look away for one second. One minute left. Oh, now we gotta. You know, I think wings would be a great topic for a whole sculpting episode because there's so many different kinds of wings. You have the kind of bat wings that dragons have, you've got birdie type wings. Hashi the one with Tony Shaloub. That one 3D artist also says, if you want to experiment with shapes, there are some nice IMMs. Oh, thanks. I, IR Sculpt, se- yeah, I don't know what that means either. IR Sculpt says, adjust the size of your brush, Seth. You've got 20 seconds. No, I don't and, want to adjust the size of my brush. And Michael Pollack says, loved Curve Quad Fill Brush in Shrek. <laughs> ten, min- 10 seconds. T- 10 seconds, really? Yeah, five. Man, how do we... Uh, we did it everyone alright Hashi can you pull back for a second so we can see your whole thing <laughs> look at those wings that's so good I was, I was really excited to, to get to doing some belly detail and I didn't get to I'm um, sorry bud I'm all about the belly detail <laughs> where, where, where are my tools oh there we are well, it's two o'clock, everybody. Wow, that's the whole show. Wow. I think this has been a very successful uh, edition of World War Z Rush, which I think I've we're going to really have to do on the show a lot more. I've really enjoyed this one. Like, I think so both too. Of you, both of you have done some really cool things on the show, and watching like people who've really barely touched ZBrush be able to make neat things, uh, it very you know it's it's that's kind of fun. And IR Sculpts agrees. That's great stuff, guys. <laughs> and Andrew uh, <laughs> Andrew Smith says, uh, this has been like pottery scene in Ghost, but with Seth and Hashi. Oh, speaking Very of, close to making that the uh, thumbnail. Yeah, there was a... There has too been, easy at the end. There has been a but with yeah. Raptors uh, version of that pottery scene in Ghost. That's pretty amazing. That yeah, speaking of which, thumbnail, yeah, if you've... Uh, the only fun this th- week was almost was almost us uh, in Ghost. 
but I really like what it ended up being. Ahashi is adding this, that I'm belly just, detail. I, just, I, just, Wait, I needed that belly detail before stuff. I leave. I needed a belly. Timer's up. No, sir. Fine. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like rules. That was not easy, but uh, I did it. That's that's the story. <laughs> I looked right at mine after I watched that drop. <laughs> I, I think it. that yours has more charm. I think it's cute. I like, like it has things like eyes. So next week we'll texture these. We'll rig them. We'll animate them and comp them. That's absolutely like an amazing episode. So hey, amazing. folks, Anything make sure you hit with? bring it, bring it all together. So yeah, yeah. If, you're on this, um, if you're on the ZBrush channel, this probably won't be on the ZBrush channel next week because they're not going to be in ZBrush. But if you want to, so if you want to follow along, hop over to the Maxon Red Giant YouTube channel, hit subscribe and hit that bell, and you'll see them do the Cinema 4D and the visual effects compositing version with these models. They're part of, part of the workflow. I mean, absolutely. Tosh, you got anything else? Um, let's see. Uh, do you have the image? The image. I meant, to, I meant to make sure we had the image. Oh, no, we don't. We don't. Need it. No, we don't need it anyway. It's time to go. Time to go? I think so. Hey, for those of you who uh, may have remembered last week's episode, we had a controversial thumbnail. Uh, there has, uh, that we have, you know, avoided such controversy uh, in this episode, which we're happy so about. Far. If you want to see Seth and Hashi talking about it, the link for that is in the chat as they explain what happened and why and say sorry about it and whatnot. So, the link's in the chat if you want to know about it. Absolutely. But yeah, we loved y'all joining us today. And I think that this, this challenge is a very fun one. I, I kind of like, uh, yeah, the idea of, uh, of, of time. Yeah, just timers in general seem to force interesting art out of us. Absolutely, they do. <laughs> They do. I think much deserving. This week is much deserving of this logo. Thank you all for supporting us in our content. Please. Absolutely. Uh, if, if this is your first time watching VFX and Shield, uh, come check out what we do next week. Uh, we're going to do some fun stuff with these guys. And if you're not sure what the show is still about, this is all you need to know. It's stupid. All of it. That's what we specialize in here on VFX and Chill. Thank you, everybody. Um, unless I'm forgetting anything, I'm going to hit our credits button now, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.